A national campaign bringing young and old people together through poetry is being launched today. Sounds good. Poetry Together was created by the writer Giles Brandreth to show how beneficial poetry can be whether you're 9 or 90. Our reporter Wendy Harrell is at the National Army Museum in Chelsea. Morning to you, Wendy. Tell us what's going to happen. Good morning. Well, first of all, I've got to walk up some stairs live on television. But yes, as you say, we are at the National Army Museum in Chelsea, London. Behind us here, school children from local primaries and uh, Chelsea pensioners on the back row. This is all the idea, as you've heard, of uh, Giles Brandreth, writer and broadcaster. Tell us about Poetry Together. Well, good morning. The idea came to me and some teachers from Duke's Education who said to me, kids love learning poetry by heart, love reciting poetry as a group. And I thought, well, if we could get children from primary schools and secondary schools all over the country to learn a poem between now and October, when National Poetry Day is, and then share that poem with older people. Because learning a poem when you're older is good for the synapses, good for the mind. Actually, evidence keeps dementia at bay. So why don't schools, secondary schools, primary schools, get together, learn a poem, and find a local old folks home, care home, where they might also like to learn a poem. They both learn the same poem, over the summer holidays, and then in October, they get together, the school invites them over to have tea, they have tea, cake, and a poetry recital. Older people, younger people, learning poetry together at poetrytogether.com. That's all you need to do, be a school, take part, be an older group, take part. It's fun and it's poetry. It's a wonderful idea and very, very simple. And listen, you take your row, yeah. uh, back row there because we are going to have a poetry recital in just a minute. Let's just go and talk to some of the children here this morning. Uh, do, have you done some poetry at school already? Yes, we have. What sort of thing have you done? We have um, done this uh, poetry called The Raven. Um, and we've done another poetry on Remembrance Day um, about World War I. And we've done uh, poetry about slavery. We made our own poems um, for slavery, and we did choral poetry, poetry for from both both classes. From wonderful, the wonderful. So, and what do you like about poetry? Do you like reciting it and performing it? Yeah, and I also like how each poem is different. They have different storylines to it, and I like how if you if someone reads a poem you can see how they're feeling about it by their expression. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, Henry's waiting there in the lovely uh, heavy hat there. He's, he's got a line that he's going to deliver in just a second. Let's go to the back row where the Chelsea Pensioners are definitely not causing mischief. Uh, how has poetry played uh, a part in your life? Until I was 79, it didn't. I'd never, never recited poetry at all. When I came to the Chelsea Hospital, I don't know why I started, but I just started. And since I've been here since September, I've wrote about 40. You've written them yourself? Yes, yes, Wonderful. Sir. yeah. Wonderful. And you, sir, has poetry played a part in your life? It is doing now, yes. It never used to as a child, but uh, <coughs> coming to Chelsea, I write quite a lot. And what do you like about writing and, and reciting <coughs> poems? Well, I started off, I never know where it's going, and it can be quite interesting how it ends up. Wonderful. Well, uh, the mind boggles where it could go, possibly. Uh, now, these children have been, uh, <laughs> children have been uh, practicing all morning. They've been very well drilled by the Chelsea pensioner, pensioners here. Uh, they're going to perform two verses of a poem by A.A. A. Milne, who is, of course, the author of the Winnie the Pooh stories, uh, called Buckingham Palace. And it's going to be led by the Chelsea pensioners at the back here. So, guys, I think it's time for you to take it away. Quick march. The changing guard at Buckingham Palace. Christopher Robin went down with Alice. Alice is marrying one of the guard. A soldier's life is terrible hard, says Alice. The changing guard at Buckingham Palace. Christopher Robin went down with Alice. We saw a guard at the sentry box. A sergeant looks after their socks, says Alice. <laughs> And everybody here, uh, they learned that off by heart. It's a much longer poem, but just two verses of that is, is really quite a challenge. Uh, so that is the launch of Poetry Together. It's getting young people and old people together to learn poems up until October when it's National, uh, Na National Poetry Day and perform them together. And I think you'll agree that that was a really spectacular performance from the guys here. Well done. Very good. And Wendy, could I just ask for a special request, the young gentleman on the Henry. right, could we... Henry, Henry, could we ask him to do a big bow for us? Yes, bow. Can you give us a big bow, Henry? <laughs> <laughs> um, 
there you lovely. are. What a great atmosphere. <laughs> what fun. You're so mischievous. You are <laughs> was so like, naughty. Look, we were listening to the poetry, but the eye was drawn to the hat, let's be honest. You just wanted to see poor Henry's hat go over his eyes. He looked very cute. Um,